What's, What's up, C-Squad? Squad? It's Nigel C. And Daddy C. Of that is Sun. Kick Talk. And today, we're Kick Talking about... About the Air Penny 2 social status collab in the Playground series. This is part der. So this is the white... Dose. Part dos or part der if you're French. Mm. But this is the white and cobalt blue, yeah. smoke gray colorway. Let's get into it. All right, before we hop into this shoe, Nigel, their first time here, what should they do? You know what it is, bro. You got to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, get that bell ringing so you can be the first person to get the new heat and get some new cops for your feet. <laughs> All right, Nigel with the bars. Yeah. Let's just get into it, man. Now, first we... off, yeah. let's address this box. You want to address the box? This box is looking fire. The box is fire. The box is fire. It's looking like uh, that Buzz Lightyear box. It is. You're right. You're right. It's definitely looking like the toy store uh -huh. back in the day when you are a kid and you walk with your mom and you like you see the, the thing peeking through and you're like mama mama please can mm -hmm. i get that toy uh -huh. and what'd she say we didn't have those well we didn't have the toys in the boxes what you mean you sure about that Did our toys come in boxes like this yeah For every real? time we go to target or wherever you're always dad can i get this mommy can we get this we say your birthday's coming christmas is coming maybe you know something like that yeah that's a no <laughs> Maybe no, too, depending on the time frame. Because you would ask for something every time. I though. really would. Every I would time. Then I go to the toy so section. Every time. Every single thing, too. Everything. Every second. Sorry about that. So, anyway, <laughs> this is, again, another release from our people at the Whitaker Group, James mm -hmm. Whitaker Crew, Social Status. We know how they do with the boxes. If you saw the black colorway on these, you know, I did those. Mm -hmm. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. But this release, again, that box, you know, they, they don't spare any detail. Nah. Everything is everything. And this is the toy box kind of giving homage to Little Penny from the old, you know, the old ads that they had. You see Little Penny on the side? That's the toy. Yeah, that's, that's Little Penny. Penny. <laughs> That's so funny. in the in the ads, you know, Lil Penny would be there talking to Penny Hardaway, uh -huh. six seven guard out of Memphis. Anthony Hardaway played for the Orlando Magic, and Little Penny was there always, just kind of giving him grief or <laughs> trying to get him to do something. He would uh -huh. be walking down the street with a little like puppet computerized. It wasn't the best graphics, but it was the '90s. But Lil yeah. Penny was voiced by Chris Rock. We'll throw a little clip in there Chris for Rock. you so you can see it. Yeah, Chris Rock was you know he was young then <laughs> and doing the voice of Lil Penny. <laughs> but this shoe is giving you that toy motif. Yeah. So you know you go to the shoe store you see this kind of box you're like oh yeah that's heat in there let me get that mm -hmm. but all kinds of corporate branding call outs around the shoe you know penny two yeah you know nike, nike social even status. a lot of times you have diagrams and instructions on the side of your toy boxes got the triple right P's. the triple p triple p what does it say it says power prosperity and prestige there you go. I guess that's the power of the Penny 2. And they really paid homage to the OG mm -hmm. with this release. So we can get into it, man. The box is dope, though. But we got shoes as well. We got shoes to get into. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Here's that shoe. Bam. Wow. Yeah. This got... looks like a... we time traveled. We time traveled. Like we time traveled to the 90s and just like picked these up. Yeah, we about 1996 or so. Yeah. Somewhere in that ballpark, 97. With Lil Penny. Well, Penny, Penny Hardaway was really, you know, we talked about it before, but he was like the Kobe before Kobe. Hmm. So it was kind of like Michael Jordan had retired at a point uh -huh. and came back and all that. But during that time, Nike was looking for like the next person, right? They got the yeah. air parent. They got to market on somebody. Mm -hmm. If MJ's gone, like what are we going to do? They, like, oh, no. they had all their <laughs> chips in the MJ yeah. bag, right? But Penny, you know, he was a he was a big, you know, combo guard, yeah. six seven tall, handles, could shoot. The dude was a beast. For real. And he played, you know, he came out of the college, played with Shaq in Orlando. His that rookie he really year. was pre Kobe. Yeah. That's crazy. He was, yeah, him and Shaq went to the NBA Finals. For real? Yeah. They went to the NBA Finals and um, you know, they lost. They, well, they went to the playoffs in one year. They lost to the Bulls, of course, when Michael Jordan came back. Oh, he was, they played each other. Yeah, but so, the year MJ was out, they went to the finals and lost. Oh, yeah. But um, but again, they were young, man. Hit Shaq and and uh, Penny, man. They yeah. were they were young. But yeah, that was the really like the the heyday of uh, Penny and Shaq, and they had uh, Nick Young, oh, man, Brian Scott. They had a squad, man, back in the early '90s in Orlando. Sorry. And they, you know, they did some damage. And then, of course, Penny got hurt. And a lot of people say that Penny never had was injured. He would have been Kobe talent, you know. Yeah. He was, yeah, because, you know, Shaq even talks about it because Penny came out and kind of got right into it, like right into the NBA, yeah. right into winning, scoring, doing his thing. And compared to Kobe, you know, Kobe, it took him a few years mm -hmm. before he kind of hit that stride. Like his first couple of years, Kobe wasn't great. He was mm -hmm. a high school kid. You know, he's coming out, mm -hmm. you know, he was taking shots, doing missing a lot of stuff until he could really find his stride. Yeah. And then he became, you know, the Mamba, but it took him a little while. So but you saying Penny was better? Than it's Kobe? hard. To, not that he was better than Kobe, 
at, if you if you stack up Penny's first couple years and Kobe's first couple years, then yes. Mm -hmm. But of course, Kobe had the His long career. career. Yeah. yeah, you can't sit, you can't do anything like that. And Penny got injured, so you never know what could have been. Right? Yeah. That's sports. That's that's that athletics. Sports. That sucks too. Like my favorite, my goat of all football, Bo Jackson. Right? He had the hip injury. If he would have yeah. never been injured, but. he looked. He was already like. He was a beast. Though. He was a man. Yeah. yeah. Bo was a man. Yeah. He was just destroying people. But if he could have had a long career, there could have been something else. But anyway, man, back to this shoe. I mean, this is overall all like a really nice plush new buck and suede situation going on in this shoe. Yeah. All around, man. You know, and again, this predates the foam posit. So you see how the foam on the side goes up like halfway up on the shoe. Mm -hmm. So that was, you know, new at the time. That the you know uh, that midsole yeah. didn't really creep up on the side of the shoe. So this is think about the foam posit. It's like it's the like whole shoe is covered. Yeah. yeah. So this was predating that. Huh. But the original instead of this like Carolina UNC blue kind of colorway, mm -hmm. it was more like that Orlando Royal blue yeah. and white. So, so this, this is, is a, it's a is a nod to the original, but they changed it up. Okay. Yeah. So cool. in social status, you know, they have ties to Charlotte, North Carolina. So a lot of people are thinking that that's why they use this color on that shoe. Mm -hmm. But uh, overall, you got, you know, the light blue, you got this cream, sail colored, new buck kind of around the shoe. You got the social status and Nike logo around that ankle. You got your pull tabs in the front and yep. in the back of the shoe, helping you know, putting that on. Can okay, you tell me what logo that is on the tongue, please? The one cent. That's the one. That's the penny. The penny. The penny. The one okay. cent. Yeah. Every time I see it, I think Cavaliers. But yeah, I know I it does. It. The <laughs> yeah. C does look like Cavaliers. It really does. But it's the one cent the one logo. Cent. That's tough. Yeah, you got that big air unit in the back of the sole. Yeah. Right. It's got some lines on it. So. Yeah, it's like they got a, they did some detail inside yeah. the air unit. That's nice. Which is different. And you got a giant brown shoe. A <laughs> bronze brown. You got a giant bronze shoe. Yeah. On the side of the shoe. Right. Right, the hang tag, right, or the hang charm. Yeah. That you could use, a, I guess, maybe on, as a keychain kind of thing. That's hard. Which is like a little mini replica of the shoe. It's kind of like, that's you know. This? Yeah, that's the exact same shoe. It really is. Yeah. Wow. That's the same shoe, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's great, you know, because back in the day, it's funny, when we were kids, and we don't do that anymore, we never did that with you guys, but my parents would get their kids' baby shoes bronze, right? And they would what? make, yeah, they would take their actual baby shoes and get them coated in bronze or get them like made in a bronze and that would become like a little not a statue but a little commemorative piece you never seen the bronze baby shoes our parents like grandparents and stuff would have baby shoes on the mantle with like you know just kind of like a little plaque thing in bronze yeah yeah it's uh, i'm Why? sorry i don't even know to be honest it was just a thing you commemorating the baby when you were a baby here's your little baby shoes i don't know man weird thing people used to do did your parents do that your grandparents y'all know what i'm talking about because that just make me feel like i'm either 900 years old or i'm crazy i think both <laughs> you have no idea what i'm talking don't, about don't. i don't even have my baby shoes no period. nobody does it anymore like i know we did do when you guys were little we did the little hand prints and the yeah, little cement things like, mm -hmm. so we have your little baby hand it was like this big yeah that you was know sweet, yeah right so but but that was the thing people did back in the, I guess that was the 70s, 80s. Oh, yeah. But that's a, in any event. The olden days. Yeah, in any Asian event, times. this little tag is kind of like a throwback to the bronze shoe. But instead that's of cool. bronze, it's a penny. So guess what it's mm. made of? Bronze. Copper. Oh, <laughs> that. Come on. Yeah. Bronze. It's bronze. made of copper? It's copper. Yeah, it's copperized. It's not like oh. a not bronze. Like bronze has got the more like a brassy kind of color look. Yeah. Where, the, you know, this is like a penny, right? It's yeah. The color of a penny. That's tough. Yeah. So. You got some like uh, material, some material value in that little copper then. I mean, I don't know how much copper is in there, it's but. probably like one penny. Maybe it's worth one cent. They probably did do that too. They probably put like, they probably took an actual penny, melted it, and then like reformed it into that. Maybe. That's probably I don't know. Did. James Whitner and crew, did y'all go that deep to really like, let's make this one cent worth of bronze, I mean of copper on this little shoe? Probably. I wonder. <sighs> in any event. <laughs> All throughout the shoe, of course, as well, we got some graphite underneath. So this is to keep that shoe from flat and right to give you that stability underneath the shoe. Wow. Then on the bottom, you got some really good traction under here. You got zoom air in the forefoot. You yeah. got the exposed air unit underneath and the rear there. And the social status logo inside of there. Yeah, is that? Wow, that is cool. That's yep. a penny logo I'm seeing. Oh, the social status logo. Oh, you have yours. Right yours. Look. That's pretty cool. You see that? So I got one cent on mine. And I got the social status. Wow, that's pretty slick. That is tough, yeah. So again, they pay attention to the details, man. Really? And this comes with, let's see, the white laces. You got some 3M as well around this gray 
piping around the outside. It's kind of hard to see right now. Yeah. Yeah. 3M hits here, and if we had a flashlight, you could see that like reflectiveness. Who's 3M? It's like that reflective shiny yeah. stuff. This gray, you can't see it now because the lights are on. But that's oh, all. That, that 3M. That's like, reflective. In here. Yeah. It's got some. That looks so like non-reflective. I though. know. You got to be <laughs> in the position where you can get some reflection going. That's cool. Yeah. So you got that, and uh, what else we got? What, we got how many laces, laces you got in there? You got a few. Oh. They come with the white, right? Then we got some. Some cream sale. Sale laces. Some wow. white. Another. This is like, like a, a slight limeish, highlighterish. Yeah, white. a little yellowish. Yeah. Mm, very similar colors. And then we got the gray. Like a gray to Dark match this oosh. piping. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Maybe. This is actually, I think I like this one right here. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah. cool. Is that it? You got that's the three? So we got three more laces that come with the shoe. All right. There you go. So you got that. So with this shoe, man, I mean, overall, it's a different, it's definitely not super 90s vibe, right? Yeah. The For chunky sure. basketball shoe, but uh -huh. this is comfort, man. This shoe is like super cushiony. I can tell by the outside. Yeah, you got a lot of like cushion. Yeah. You know, you're not, your feet not hurting playing the knees. You're getting a lot of bounce, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of padding around the collar, right? Yeah. Like around the collar of the shoe in here. Yeah. Let's see in the insole, you just got a, a Nike swoosh, nothing going on major in there. Let's see. Yeah, I yep. got the social status Nike logo. Oh, really? Well, yeah, that's what, I got the same. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. So uh, these are a size 12, so these are actually an assist for a homie. Oh! And not for, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You in the 90s basketball shoes, man. Don't act like that's a thing. I would definitely wear these. No, you wouldn't. I would most definitely wear these. That's a shock. Because if I got some like baggy blue jeans. Oh, you trying I... to like do a throwback 90s outfit? Yeah. You need like a big oversized I'm not sweatshirt? I'm trying to get a throwback outfit. It's like a, a retro aesthetically outfit. Okay, throwback. Yeah. Also known as a throwback, but okay. Okay. <laughs> Still. I'm shocked because usually, you know, with the, like, with the penny ones, you weren't a fan of those. I wasn't because they were just like old heady, but like not like super tough to me. But these are like old in like a stylish way. Okay. What you think about the black? So this is my pair. Yeah, nah, I don't like the that. Black. See, you don't all. like this. No. But you like these a lot. Because this is a whole different color. Same shoe though, man. <sighs> oh, this, this is cool. <laughs> All right. Wait, Loki. Yeah, nah. This just. I'm just not feeling this too much. No, you're not, not feeling it. And the pink. What's up with the pink? In the this? pink is the bubble gum, right? So the concept behind the shoe. Again, this is the social status. They call this the playground series. Oh, this still. This is still the playground series. Yeah. Oh. Before it was recess, right? With the with the penny one. So they recess. Got two different series with the same exact thing. Penny one, penny two, penny two, playground. So this two is, is the playground. One is recess. Correct. Oh. Yeah. We covered the penny one. Right. But this is again the playground series, and this is just taking you back to the old 90s era, mm -hmm. you know, where in the neighborhood, like everything kind of centered around the playground, right? The neighbors, the kids, yeah. everybody's at the That's playground, the basketball man. courts. That was how we grew up, man. I know. It was like, you just go outside. We were talking about this recently with some friends. Mm -hmm. Parents just be like, go outside. I don't care where you go, what you do, just stay out of trouble, don't get hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, don't get kidnapped, but be back here by the time dinner and or by the time the lights come on. That's so crazy. And that was it, man. Like now it's so different, man. But we would be at the playground playing ball, you waiting to get on next i got next i got next you got you know 30 40 people at the playground kids playing basketball kids on the swings playing baseball whatever but you know it was an era man and it was how we just be on the game yeah exactly it was on the game but it's the same thing though we still having fun with our friends you're having fun i understand right. it's different forms but we would be outside man it was I just know. a different era that seems tough though i yeah. want that but it's cool so anyway rating man on this shoe what we thinking what you got i'm gonna give these like a eight Mm. I'm actually feeling these. I'm telling you, bro. I'm shy. They're cool. I really am shy. They're cool. Okay. No, don't think you got to get these for me. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, they're nice. They're nice. Uh, I like them. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. You said you said eight. Eight. How you eight. feeling? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of these. Not the hugest fan. I like the, I'm always like the ones better than the twos. Mm -hmm. I probably would go eight as well. Mm -hmm. You know, they're yeah. not my, my go-to. But the guy that I got these for, my boy Devon, he's like a penny. He loves pennies. They're like his, uh, one of his, you know, next to Jordan's, like his number, number two shoe, I think. Wow. Yeah. Some people, I mean, there are some pennies. Some, like people, a... some people that are diehard penny fans, like of the Those sneakers. Exist? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. I mean, in the 90s, he really again, was he was like the that. man. And wow. you know, people bought Jordans and all, but yeah. then after a while, like people kind of got off Jordans, mm -hmm. you know, and then Jordans kind of came back with this newer generation. Um, but during that 90s span, it was, you know, it was the Pennies, Pennies. it was the Chris Webber, you had the Jason Kids. So they were they like- all other, had shoes? Yeah, you had, they had other players that had some signature shoes that were big. Cause again, Mike was wow. out of the league, then he came yeah. back. Then like some of the, he, you know, he went to the Wizards and 
the shoes kind of the Jordans kind of dipped. They fell off a lot. Yeah. And there was younger generations that liked some of those higher level, higher higher number Jordans. But for like the old heads like us, like myself, after 13, man, that's it. Like I don't 14, 15, 16. I can't, the same thing with us. I don't see Nobody's it. Nobody's wearing modern like the higher number Jordans. I mean, yeah, there's some people that love them that are that from that era. But yeah, now like all the retro lovers don't go that high. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's why they only keep retro on ones, twos, threes, fours, everything else. But in any event, where do y'all fall in love or in line with the pennies? Do you love these? Are they like, eh? Love to hear from you in the comments. Um, hit me on Instagram, at Real Daddy C. Same on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And check yeah. us out on the next one. But thanks for hanging out. We will yeah. see you soon. Peace. Peace.